Hello fans of Gift and Food and Baking, today I'm going to share with you the Sudanese heartwarming, indulgent, generous food. Today my recipe will be the Sudanese okra soup with dill, which is albamiel mafruka with the meat chunks. For this recipe I am using 1.5 kg lamb's legs chunks which I will squeeze on top of it 2 limes to rinse the meat and kill any bacteria and tenderize the meat. As you can see here, by squeezing the lamb on top of the meat, it always drains the blood, any excess blood. Then I will spice it with 1 tablespoon of salt and 1 tablespoon of black pepper. Mix with your hand to make sure all the meat has been coated with the salt and pepper. Traditionally, they use fresh okra for this bamiya mafruka, but I will use 400 gram of frozen baby okra and here I have a quarter cup of fine chopped dill and 12 cloves of garlic and 1 tablespoon of coriander. For the meat broth, I have one whole cinnamon stick, a bunch of whole black pepper, bay leaves, cloves and some cardamom and the most unique thing which is bistik, mystica. I will also add to the broth three cloves of garlic, three sticks of celery, a small piece of ginger and three medium onions. It's quicker and easy to cook the meat in a pressure cooker. So here I have two liters of water added to it, one and a half tablespoon of salt and I will add the dry spices. Then I will add the celery, onion, garlic and ginger. Now the meat has reached the room temperature and by squeezing the limes it has drained all the blood and I will discard the blood. This is optional but many Sudanese dishes is not complete without the chili dip. So here I have got a mix of chilies, green chilies and red, three cherry tomatoes, two cloves of garlic, a bunch of coriander with a half lime. This is very easy and quick side dip to the main dish of okra soup albamiel mafruka which I will only add 1 teaspoon of salt and use a mini chopper to chop it into a medium coarse texture. To be honest this chili coriander dip is so essential to the okra soup albamiel mafruka. Getting this out of the way now I will start cooking the meat until they are tender and fall from the bone. So now in the pressure cooker with all the vegetables and the dry spices and the heated water I will add the meat and let it cook in the pressure cooker until it's tender. Once you add the meat to the hot water and the water starts to heat up more and boil you will end up seeing some foam on the top. For a more flavored and better result of a broth try to remove all this foam from the top of the pan and get rid of it. While the meat is cooking, I have prepared in a roasting pan 1 teaspoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon of pepper, 1 teaspoon of coriander, 1 teaspoon of salt, 2 crushed garlics, 1 tablespoon of tomato puree and 1 tablespoon of butter ghee. Put all the spices together with the tomato puree and butter and set it aside until the meat is cooked. Now the meat has completely cooked so I will add it while it's hot into these spices. Mix to combine all these spices with the meat, then add one cup of that meat broth and cover the whole roasting tray with foil and place it in the oven. By adding half a cup of the meat broth while it's roasting in the oven, it will keep the meat moist, tender and it will fall from the bone. Place in the oven of 180 Celsius for at least half an hour because it's already cooked, you don't need more than that. Roast the meat in the oven of 180 Celsius for at least half an hour. Now I will start cooking the bamiya mafruka. So here I have 400 gram of baby frozen okra, which I will add to it one and a half liter of meat broth. To that I will add one teaspoon of the fresh fine chopped dill and I will leave the rest for frying later. Cover the pressure cooker with the lid and let it cook for at least 20 to 25 minutes. Now I will start frying the 12 crushed garlics in 1 tablespoon of butter ghee until they reach a golden color. Then I will add the quarter cup of fine chopped dill. Fry together now the dill with the garlic in the butter and once it reach a darker color then add 1 tablespoon of ground coriander. Mix to combine the coriander with the garlic and dill and you would notice that it has gone a little bit dry but don't worry, once you add it to the hot okra it will rehydrate again. 
Now the okra after 25 minutes in the pressure cooker has really cooked well and you can test it by pressing one of the okra. Then I will add all the crushed garlic, dill and coriander to it and then start whisking it by hand. For a better result until you see all these pink seeds it's best to use a hand whisker, a manual one. If you use an electric hand mixer it will end up like a mushy soup. Now the Sudanese kind, warm-hearted, indulgent dish is ready to dig in. Traditionally, the Sudanese would eat this okra soup, al bamiya mafruka, with kisra. However, here I'm eating it with alcida and it's so delicious. Oh, <laughs> here there is no time to speak. It's time to indulge in this Sudanese heartwarming food. <laughs> Oops, I was so hungry that I forgot to add the essential side dish of the chili coriander dip. It's so delicious. Try it with it. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more Sudanese, Egyptian, African or any other recipes, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Gift of Food and Baking until I see you with the next recipe. Bye-bye.